We all know how to cook uh, meat or fish, how to make it perfect and, and so on. But I think in the plant world, we, uh, we don't know half of it. And I still think that we are paying too much attention to protein and uh, use plants as garnish. You know, they deserve a lot more sunshine than they are getting right now. When you're working plant-based, I think you have so much more opportunities on how do you want to end up with a specific uh, plant. And I think we're now just starting to understand uh, the uh, different steps of a plant and what stages are super good and what not. Foraging plays a huge role at Gran just simply because it gives so much opportunities food-wise. There's a whole uh, planet of herbs that we have not used in our everyday cooking and we don't know how to use them. It's really important uh, flavor-wise as well to, to grind, to have those bitter and you know, really wild flavors on the menu. The farm started with, with um, a crazy idea during Corona lockdowns. I had that idea and 24 hours from that we actually had uh, the place rented already and, and a week from that we were working with the soil and now we, we're getting really good amount of uh, different herbs and flowers from the farm. Everybody knows radish, you know, but everybody only knows the, uh, the red or white or, uh, or the dark, the dark uh, root. So we overgrew them, let them to make flowers and the seed has a really, really, really good horseradishy flavor, which is really unique and I think it's really cool. The flowers, they go with, uh, with a pancake dish we have at the moment, you know, traditional Finnish summer food uh, pancakes with strawberries and different garnish as well. To have a farm is, is something that every chef should at some point do, because it gives so much and you, you will understand so much more about plants and, and the different stages of growth. And just to understand that when a particular herb is at its best, pretty much. What makes Finnish produce and, and all produce unique in the world is the people that grow them. You know, I don't believe, because uh, when you're a farmer, I think you, you sort of follow the same guidelines. Everybody works pretty much the same way, you know but the person is the one that gives out the uh, certain uh, uniqueness to, uh, to anything, pretty much. So I first saw Kalle in uh, Central Helsinki in a meeting and uh, in this really, really old, fancy building. And uh, he came to the door and opened the door in, a, in like a Armani suit, like really high-end high suit with holding a bucket full of cabbages. And I thought, uh, who is this guy? That is, must be nuts. <laughs> yeah. I'm Kalle and... I'm Erika. And we are at uh, Valerinen's farm uh, in Nurmiarvi in Finland right now. Our relationship with, with the restaurant, it's, it's like we try to be quite close to them and we are discussing uh, like every week about what they need and what we can offer. I think these are really, really pretty and when they start to bloom, they start to lose the, uh, you know, that, that cabbage-like flavor. So you have uh, more sweetness and more like floral notes. We, we do it like really small amounts of cabbage here. So, so we are doing everything by ourselves. We harvest it like uh, in the very same day or, or the day before maximum and then the next day it's in the restaurant. The cabbage is the main product for us. Kale, Brussels sprouts, kohlrabi, pointed cabbage, cauliflower of course, a broccoli, a broccoli flowers, broccoli kaiprok, sunflowers of course. We are uh, trying everything all the time to seek something new. With Kalle the uniqueness I think it comes from the fact that he is uh, only growing cabbages and he's really really enthusiastic about cabbage and everything he talks about is you know growing cabbage and how they are and, and taste like that's that's unique I think so the first dish we're uh, doing today is uh, made of buckwheat like a taco uh, pancake that we grill and glaze with uh, some smoked deer fat and that's been topped with a ragu made of uh, different parts of deer and 
That's been topped with uh, some kale and sunflowers that we grilled and some fresh uh, sunflower petals as well. And then we serve it with a rhubarb veg and a salsa made of jalapenos and gooseberries. So the next dish we're gonna do is a dish made of volatile cabbage, pike fish, and uh, then we have some leeks and uh, some herbs and you know, flowers from our farm. And it's been served with a sauce made of uh, grilled butter and roasted yeast and uh, grilled mussels and some parsley as well. And the dish we're presenting next is uh, something really, really uh, traditional Finnish uh, summer food. We have uh, fermented rhubarb pancakes and then different condiments like strawberries and, and whipped cream and, and uh, different herbs and flowers and you can pretty much do your own pancake. That's the idea. Future food to me is 100% that chefs and everybody in the industry are leading the way of cooking and uh, working more sustainably and uh, using more plant-based produce and ex especially uh, protein that we can get from plants.